Well, okay, so I've been looking at ohms all day long. We have to move in two families together. So it's now 8.40. I haven't eaten dinner. So I went by all these to return some dog food that didn't work out for me. And I found this earth-grown meatless Italian sausage made with soy protein. Okay. I've had some of these before. I don't remember having this one before. So I thought what I'd do is I'm going to cook this and I'm going to cook it with an unusual topping. So it's got the double guarantee. This is so cool. And the reason why is if you buy this thing and you can't stand it, say this thing costs, actually costs $3.50. They give you the $3.50 back in your pocket. Plus they give you $3.50 more to buy something else. Now you can't beat this double guarantee. Okay, so one link is 140 calories and there is 13 grams of protein. Okay, so watch me how I do this. It's gonna be an interesting twist. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Okay, so the first thing we do is we cut it out. No easy zip on this. And even though I cut it, I didn't do a good enough job to get it out. Okay, there. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay. And then the cooking direction should be fairly simple. Something like dropping in the water. We're going to use the microwave oven because it's so late. So place on a microwave safe plate and eat on high at 100% for one to one and a half minutes per sausage until hot. And that's exactly what we're going to do. This is the plate. This is the microwave. Make sure it doesn't go away in place. Or we'll make it a minute and we'll add an extra 30 seconds. Okay, so we pulled the dog out of the microwave so we could stop it cooking. Now this is charred. Now notice how limp it is. What happened is after I pulled it, a delicious chard out of my garden, I forgot about it in the garage and it's now very limp. But for the application that I'm going to use it, I want it limp. Now do I need this many? No. So we're going to take these guys here and put them aside and I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. You're gonna, take, you're gonna take the large pieces, which I normally make soup out of, and we're just gonna put them in a the sink for right now. There's only one dog, so we don't need that many leaves. Now, when it's coming out of the of the um, of the garden, there's very little you can do it because the leaves are so stiff they won't work at all. But right now, you see, I can almost tie it into a bundle. That's what you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this delicious dog and we're going to wrap it up inside of the chard, like this. And then we're going to take the other one, cut off the spine of some of it. And I see what I'm doing here. I'm taking the knife and I'm physically cutting into the, the spine of it. And you're going to take the next piece and you're just going to do like this. So you could almost call it a piggy in a blanket. Except for this case, it's a, it's going to be a soy hot dog in a blanket. I'm going to put it back on the plate. And we're going to cook it for another minute. Now what we're going to do with these is we're just going to take the stems off and we're going to put them in, a, in the fridge. We can use these. I can cook them up the next day. And if you've seen me do this before, how I make my stews. So there's nothing going to be wasted and these leaves won't be wasted either. And these over here that are kind of like dead looking. This one's almost dead. We won't be using this leaf. But these leaves are just fine and we're going to put these in the fridge. Alright, so what's going to go with our hot dog? Well, I just love black beans. Now you really have to be careful about these because... Okay, so in this can there's three and a half servings. Three and a half people can have black beans. And each serving is 100 calories. Okay, so the dog is ready. 
and we're just going to open this up, warm this up along the side of the dog, just so that we have everything nice and warm. These really, this one here, I got from Aldi's, low sodium, mother's made black beans. Now, normally what I do with these black beans is I drain it and rinse it because I don't like the extra salt. But I've been working all day long today in the heat and I could use the extra salt. And usually I can tell if it tastes good and it does. So we're going to go to the extra, extra juice here. We don't need the extra. And then we're just going to pour some on the plate. So late, we're not going to eat that much. And it's more than enough, that's probably about right for about 100 calories. And we're going to stick this entire thing back into the microwave. Just for one minute. Now I won't cook the outer green uh, shell of the uh, Swiss chard. But what it will do is it will uh, warm up the dog since we did pull it out for a little bit of time. And everything should come back hot. Now what we're going to do with this is put it away. we got this little plastic container here. That's Joy saying hello, everybody. Okay. Okay. And obviously, I put it on there like that. Do this, and you stick it in the fridge. Okay, so I can tell that the beans are ready to eat. And I'm going to cut into the Swiss chard with the dog underneath it. Okay, it's not easy to cut as the dog is bouncing all around the place. And let's see if I can manage to eat. So I have a little bit of the chard on the outside and I have the sausage in the middle. And it would be delicious if it wasn't so darn hot. So this is a slightly strange snack, very, very light dinner since it's so late for me. That way I'll probably just make it up with my breakfast in the morning. You guys all know what I eat in the morning. So thank you very much for watching. Is it a hit? It's different. It's like eating green salad on, t on top of my soy sausage. Who knows, it might appeal. Maybe if I had some sauce to put on top, it might work. But it's not objectionable. Even though the chard isn't cooked, it actually has a nice flavor. And I think that's because the hot dog imparted its flavor into the chard. Okay, see you next time. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.